When planning a summer vacation, many of us dream of snow white beaches and crystal clear water. But there are places on our planet where instead of palm trees and seagulls you will be met by muddy waves and stench all around. Friends, do not hurry to book tours to these paradises. If you believe scientists, there are many places on earth, vacation in which promises you not a tan and pleasant memories and such a set of diseases that patients of the plague doctor never dreamed of. Let's find out where are the dirtiest places on our planet and where you should not go. So, the most radioactive zones. Two infamous nuclear power plants, Fukushima and Chernobyl, are in the lead here, but also Lake Karakay. Let me remind you that the largest radiation accidents in history took place at these nuclear power plants, the consequences of which are still being felt today. The accident at the Chernobyl NPP took place on the night of April 25, 26, 1986 at the fourth power unit of the plant, located in the city of Pripyat on the territory of the Ukrainian SSR. The cause of the accident was a violation of reactor operating rules during routine testing. As a result of the test, some safety systems were disabled, which led to an increase in reactor power and overheating. Eventually, the reactor went out of control and there was an explosion that destroyed its core. Because of the accident, about 180 tons of radioactive substances, 200 short tons, were released into the atmosphere, which spread to the territories of many European countries. In the USSR, the zone of radioactive contamination was about 160,000 square kilometers, 61,776 square miles, including 30,000 square kilometers, 11,583 square miles, and Belarus and 20,000 square kilometers, 7,722 square miles, and Russia. Just imagine that about 222,000 soccer fields could be placed on this territory. However, in the long term, the consequences of the accident were much more extensive. Radioactive contamination led to an increased incidence of thyroid cancer and other radiation-related diseases. As a result of the Chernobyl accident, about 116,000 people were evaluated from the city of Pripyat and surrounding communities. In the USSR, the damage from the Chernobyl accident amounted to about $68 billion. An even more radioactive place on the planet is Lake Karakay in the Chelyabinsk region of Russia. Compared to it, even the zone in Chernobyl is a children's summer camp. This lake is one of the most radioactive places on the planet. Currently, the level of radiation on the surface of Lake Karakay reaches 600 rentgens per hour, which is thousands of times higher than the permissible level. Even a short stay in the area of the lake can lead to serious health problems, cancer, and people and animals that come in contact with the lake. And the plants growing on the shores of the lake are contaminated with radioactive substances. So why did Lake Karakay become so dangerous? The answer is simple, household waste including feces and garbage, was dumped into it. In 1973, a decision was made to backfill Lake Karakay. The backfilling works were completed in 2015. However, the lake is still a very radioactive place. But we should not forget about the accident at the Fukushima nuclear power plant occurred on March 11, 2011 as a result of a magnitude 9.0 earthquake followed by a tsunami. The combination of these factors caused a failure of the reactor cooling systems at several power units of the plant. As a result, the cores of two reactors overheated, leading to fuel meltdowns and the release of radioactive substances into the atmosphere. The accident released about 200 tons, 220 short tons, of radioactive substances into the atmosphere. Because of the accident at the Fukushima nuclear power plant was evaluated about 160,000 people from the exclusion zone which is about 300 square kilometers, 116 square miles. Just think that you can accommodate about 42,000 soccer fields. In Japan, the damage from the accident at the Fukushima nuclear power plant amounted to about $270 billion. So what other places on our planet pose deadly dangers? Let's start with the Ganges in India. This sacred river has become a veritable sewer due to the dumping of tons of industrial and domestic waste into it, including feces, garbage, and chemicals. This leads to the spread of diseases such as diarrhea, cholera, and typhoid. According to the World Health Organization, who, about one million people die every year due to the polluted water of the Ganges. Can you imagine the scale of the disaster? The situation is no better in China with the Huangyi River. Its waters are so poisoned with heavy metals and bacteria that fish and other inhabitants of the river die en masse. So swimming there is like taking a bath with chemicals. 
The conclusion is simple these rivers are better to exclude from the plans of vacation fun. Unless you dream of catching a couple or three deadly tropical fevers and getting poisoned by heavy metals, then you're definitely here. What are the regions with the most polluted soils? One of the first places will be China, where in the areas of coal mining the soil is literally poisoned. The fact is that during coal mining tons of harmful substances, heavy metals, sulfates, and radioactive elements get into the soil. As a result, the soil is dead, there is no vegetation or life there. The history of soil pollution in China's coal mining areas dates back to the middle of the 20th century. At that time, the country's coal industry was developing rapidly, and primitive methods were used for coal mining that did not take into account environmental impacts. As a result, huge amounts of harmful substances were released into the environment and deposited on the soil. According to the Ministry of Environmental Protection of the People's Republic of China, about 50 million hectares, 123.5 million acres of land in China are currently contaminated, of which more than 10 million hectares, 24.7 million acres, are unusable. The concentration of heavy metals in the soil in China's coal mining areas can exceed the norm by 100 times. The situation in Nigeria with soil pollution in oil production areas is also very serious. During the development of oil fields, the soil is flooded with oil and chemicals that poison it and make it unusable. Likewise, oil spills, pipeline leaks, and unauthorized extraction have become commonplace in the Delta. The history of soil contamination in Nigeria's oil producing areas dates back to the 1950s. At that time, the country began to see the rapid development of the oil industry. The cause of soil contamination is the use of outdated oil extraction technologies. These technologies release various harmful substances into the soil including petroleum hydrocarbons, which can cause cancer, chemicals, phenols, ammonia, and chlorides, heavy metals, lead, mercury, and cadmium. These substances poison the soil, making it unsuitable for growing plants and for animals to live in. Concentrations of petroleum hydrocarbons in the soil in Nigeria's oil-producing areas can be up to 1,000 times higher than normal. It is estimated that about 200,000 barrels of oil are drained in the Niger Delta every year. Ever wonder why there is so much plastic floating in the open ocean? The problem is particularly acute in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. In the Pacific Ocean, floating plastic garbage has gathered into a real continent with an area of over 1.5 million square kilometers, 579,153 square miles. This is about the size of the entire European territory covered with plastic bottles and bags. And the total volume of plastic floating in the ocean is estimated at 100 million tons. There is also a huge amount of plastic floating in the Indian Ocean. Off the coasts of India and Sri Lanka, there is a record concentration of small plastic pellets used to make larger items. They can also be exposed to chemicals contained in the plastic, which can cause health problems for the sea creatures themselves, as well as for humans. This pollution is extremely dangerous to marine life. Plastic is destructive to fish, turtles, seabirds, and mammals. They become entangled in the waste and mistake the plastic for food or food for their offspring. Plastic breaks down into microparticles that contaminate the water and enter the food chain, threatening the entire ocean ecosystem and humans. You may think that everything is polluted, but it's not. And then there is the air we breathe, which is not so simple either. The situation is especially bad in Delhi, India, and Beijing, China. These megacities are the leaders in terms of air pollution. What is the reason? Firstly, both cities have a lot of industrial enterprises, which emit tons of harmful substances into the air every day. Secondly, a huge amount of motor vehicles, millions of cars daily poison the atmosphere with exhaust fumes. As a result, the norms of harmful impurities in the air are exceeded many times over. For example, the level of PM2.5 fine hazardous particles in Delhi is on average 7 to 8 times higher than the permissible level. In Beijing, nitrogen dioxide levels are off the charts. Studies show a direct link between polluted air and the growth of respiratory, cardiovascular diseases, asthma in residents of these cities. And now we have come to the end of our gloomy journey through the dirtiest corners of the planet. As you can see, environmental problems are very acute today. It may seem that soon we will find only garbage dumps and scorched earth instead of paradise beaches on vacation. Share your thoughts in the comments.